Hey guys, Buffy Game Bed today, bringing a video, and today we're going to be covering the M16A3 as well as the A4 here for our weapon conversion series for Modern Warfare 2. So, we did a similar video for Modern Warfare 2019. We'll be doing kind of the same thing here, going through the A4 and the A3. I have two, three different versions in total here two different A4s and an A3. So, let's go ahead, we'll back out, and we'll take a look. Um, First, at our M16A3. So, with this one, we're actually going to start with the base M4 because the A3 is essentially to just leave a high level. It's essentially the same thing as an M4. It's just, uh, or excuse me, the A4, but it is essentially m more of an A2, but in fully automatic. So, it has uh, safe, semi, and fully automatic as select fire options. And here we can kit it out, same as we did in Model Warfare 2019 with. Uh, to be fully automatic so we're going to be using the base m4 since the m16 in game is only the three round burst to the semi-auto so here you have semi and full with the m4 so we'll be selecting the base m4 we're going to go ahead and for the stock we're going to want the m16 stock so that demo precision stock is going to give us the stability and the recoil control we're going to go ahead and just put on a four times flip on this one so 4.8 magnification with the 1.5 times magnification on the eotech we're going to go ahead and throw a PEC-15. In this case, the SZ 1 milliwatt PEC is going to go on that right-hand Picatinny rail. It looks really good. It's going to give us aiming stability. And then we're going to want the M16 uh, barrel option on this. So, again, you have, like, different M4 barrels here you could obviously do. But because we're doing M16A3, we're going to go ahead and want the high tower 20-inch barrel. So, it's going to give us the bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control. But more importantly, it's going to give us that M16A4 uh barrel you can see factory barrel for the m16 rifle is what it says for the description so that's the one we want and then we're going to run the ranger grip or the lockwood precision grip just because i personally like the one how this goes and you, you'll see this on a lot of uh marine rifles and things like that so we'll go ahead and select that and this is our m16 a3 you can see the final design here looks really clean and we'll look at both these in the gun range here in a little bit also. But this is the M16A3. And then you can see for the camouflage, you can obviously just go black if you wanted. I'm going to just use the scales. I think the scales or even the uh, Desert Hybrid always looks really good on this. So we'll run scales. I think it looks nice. That's our M16A3. Let's go ahead and look at our M4 versions here. So first off, or excuse me, the M16A4 version. So first off, the first version here is going to be the M16A4 Grenadier. So we're going to have that. Uh, again, the base M16 here is what we're selecting. So whereas the A3, we were using the M4. Here, we're using the M16 rifle. So two different rifles. You can see we use the M4 for the A3. And then for the A4, we're going to be using the M16. So with this one, we don't need to make that many changes, thankfully. So we're going to run just with an ACOG with the top mounted RMR. It's going to be this, the Oscar 9 SZ Optic. Again, glad they have this here in Modern Warfare 2 where they didn't have it in Modern Warfare 2019. You also have a base ACOG if you really just wanted to run the uh, solo ACOG. You could also do that. Then again, we're going to run the same uh, 1 milliwatt PEC on that as well. Even though it looks a little weird <laughs> uh, on this version. But you'll see why we're, we're running them. And you can take it off if you're running a Grenadier for now if you really wanted to. Uh, but when we when we do the other version of the A4 without the Grenadier. So then we have the 40 mil millimeter uh, 203 grenade launcher. And that's going to change our barrel, right? So... If you look at this, if I just remove that, the base barrel right there is the M the A4 barrel, same as we're using the A3. And when you do apply the grenade launcher, it's going to add that heat shroud there, or the heat shield. So go ahead and put that on. And then for the uh, other attachment here, we, you can really fill these how you want. I'm just going to run high velocity just because we already have at base, we have our... Um, we have our M16A4 here, so we really don't need to add that many attachments. This is our Grenadier version, so our M16A4 Grenadier. You can see the design here. And then the other version of the A4 that we will be running in the gameplay is going to be essentially the same thing. Just switching out the grenade launcher for the Ranger Grip or the Lockwood Persistent 40. And that will give us, an, again, another M16A4 just uh, without the grenade to your barrel obviously so this one you can see we'll be running this mainly in semi-auto actually in the gameplay so you can see that's why we have the pack 15 on there because it looks super clean big sandstorm vibes uh for the a4 here with this build so those are all the different builds go ahead and go ahead and put that grenade launcher back on and we'll jump into the firing range really quick just so you guys can see the inspects and then we'll jump into the uh to the gameplay so starting here with the m16 a3 
Here's the inspect animation, and again, this is the, the fully auto version, right? So, you'll see it in the gameplay also, our M16A3. Looking really nice. So, let's go ahead and uh, change our loadout. Run with the A4 with the... Whoops, that is not the right one. Run with the A4. There we go. Grenadier version A4. So, this one's just burst, obviously. And then we have our grenade launcher on there also. Go ahead and do the inspect animation. So that's the A4 with the Grenadier. And then I don't think I can edit it here. So we'll leave really quick. And we'll go ahead and just throw that uh, Ranger Foregrip of the Lockwood Precision back on. There it is. So we'll go ahead and run the uh, firing range preview with the A4 without the Grenadier. And there we go. Really nice. And again, this one, obviously, you can run burst or semi. Which I love. So that's those are all our weapons. Go ahead and jump into the gameplay here. So we're going to be running again on the Los Alamos map. I really prefer this map. I think it's just better for all the engagements, which is nice. Um, especially with these ones. So we'll start with the A3, and then we'll run the A4 with the Grenadier Barrel. And then we'll be switching to the A4 just with the uh, front grip there, that Lockwood Precision. So let me know your thoughts down below on these builds. Again, really, the M16 is like a really underrated weapon. Actually, I've, I've used the M16 in DMZ, the actual A4 Burst one. Um, and it's surprisingly, you can get away with that. I mean, if you're a good player, you can easily, I, I won quite a few engagements with that thing, which is pretty hilarious to think. So the M16 family of rifles developed by Eugene Stoner. It is classified as an assault rifle, been in service since 1964 through present. It's been adopted by almost every NATO country at one part or another. Again, designer was Eugene Stoner and, um, for the AR-15 version would be James Sullivan. Design period took place in 1959, and it was put in service in 1964. So lots of different manufacturers here, like Colt, uh, FN Hurst, Bushmaster, all of those. Um, produced, again, 1963 through present. There's been over 8 million units as of 2011, so that's been increased quite a bit as of this point in time. Um, variants, lots of variants we'll get into. Uh, you obviously have, like, the A1, A2, A3, A4, AR-15 versions, all of that. So the mass... Overall, um, with this thing, when it's unloaded for the, we'll go off the A4 since it's essentially uh, going to be the same thing. It's going to be 7.5 pounds, and then when it's loaded, it's going to be 8.8 .8 pounds. The length of the rifle overall is going to be uh, 39.37 inches or 1,000 millimeters, and the barrel length is going to be 20 inches or 508 millimeters, with the cartridge being that 556 by 45 millimeter NATO round. The action for this rifle is going to be a gas-operated direct expansion of gas, surface of the bolt carrier, closed rotating bolt. So gas-operated, closed rotating bolt, pretty typical with a lot of the, the weapons that we cover here on the channel and just weapons in general. Uh, rate of fire is going to be 700 to 800 rounds per minute. Um, again, that's going to be based on burst. So the M16 um, A3 can be 700 through 900, and the A4 will be 800 um, based on the bur burst rate. The muzzle velocity for the M855A1 round is going to be 3,150 feet per second or 960 meters per second with the effective firing range being 550 meters or 601 yards uh, with the, the longest, uh, one of the longest ones being 3,600 3, meters or 3,937 yards. But as far as accuracy goes, uh, area target would be 800 meters. Feed system for this is going to be just Stenag mags. You have 20, uh, 30, 40, 60, <laughs> 100 C mags, anything like that. So a variety of different magazines. And then the front, the sights obviously are iron sights, reaperture flip-ups, M-Bus based on pick Picatinny rail systems, all of that. So um, again, for the versions, like we have the A1, A2, A3, A4, A all the AR-15 versions has been different iterations of the A4, um, different upgrades along the way with like Knights Armament Company, uh, handguards, things like that. So there's this is a, a weapon that's been around for a long time. It was just replaced, uh, supposedly, by the MCX Spear. Um, we'll see what that rollout actually looks like um, in the real world. Now, unfortunately, with the A4 and even even the A3 version of the game, we can't get an optic on the uh, carrying handle. So at base, you obviously have the carrying handle for the M16. Um, we can't put optics on the carrying handle. But 
for an A4 version, that makes sense. If we were running something like an A1 or an A2, um, then we would want to put optics on top of the carrying handle. But in this case, we don't want to do that, so it doesn't really impact us with these builds. But let me know your thoughts down below. Which one do you prefer, the M16 A3 or the A4? I, I personally like the A3 just because obviously you have full automatic capability, but the A4 is a lot of fun to just run in the burst in the semi-automatic, especially in in dmz i mean you can conserve your ammo with those bursts and if, if you're hitting your shots it's actually going to be pretty accurate you can really kit it out with some good muzzle devices on there also for like compensators and brakes that way the burst spread is is a lot less and you can be much more accurate as well so let me know your thoughts down below social media links all of that are down below in the description twitter instagram discord go ahead and join up over there we have twitch we'll be doing live stream here on the channel typically once a week with members memberships are live on the channel so there's three different tiers there um, you guys can join up and that'll give you, you know, priority if I'm playing or especially in live streams, if we're doing DMZ or whatever, uh, that'll give you guys priority to play with me, especially when we do get a lot of members. I'll, um, eventually down the road, probably add a, a separate stream just for members, um, to play with different things. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that. But again, best way to support the channel is just watch the ads. Um, don't feel pressure to, to join the, um, the membership option. Just watch the ads that helps out the channel more than anything. Um, and then we do have merchandise coming. So I did order some test merchandise for myself. I'm going to try that out. And then um, I'll announce something on Discord and things like that. Um, when I have the finalized design, and we'll start taking orders if, if you guys want some different designs. And, and I'll be rolling out different designs over the next couple uh, months and things like that based on interest. So let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, this is Buffering Gaming with the M16 A3, A4 Pattern Rifles. Till next time, Buffering Gaming, out. Requesting recon at this time. Precision airstrike ready for tasking. <laughs>